Hello everyone, this is Miss Natalie, your English teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe and sound. In this tutorial, I will, I will explain the material included for week number 11. So let's start with the first day of this week. The first day of this week is the 12th of November. We are going to start to delve into um, the play Life is a Dream. As previously, we set the introduction and you presented. In this class, you will work more, I would say, thoroughly to analyze or to build an overview in reference to the play's context, historical context, biography, the author's biography, uh, plot summary, characters, themes, and symbols. Now, if you look, if you go through the BC page, um, for example, let's have a look at the word wall. You have dramatic play, biography, historical context, plot summary, and so on. You also have um, an essay on the play, Life is a Dream, that can actually help you throughout this, I would say, project, semi-project. You also have tutorials to help you out, um, to aid your understanding. This is the activity. So you'll be distributed into, let me check, into four groups and each group uh, will be or will be assigned a specific, I would say, a concept or concepts to work on. Um, you need to build a PowerPoint presentation and that is after you do your research about the assigned topic. So group number one will work on uh, the author's biography and the extra credit. I provided you with some information that can help you out, but that does not mean that you do not research. I want more information as each group will present for 20 minutes. So you need to have enough information to present. Um, Group number two, you, you are going to work on historical context and key facts. I also provided you with uh, information regarding this topic. Um, you need to focus on defining specific terms um, in the historical context, such as the Spanish Golden Age and the Spanish uh, Baroque, uh, Baroque, sorry, the Habsburg Dynasty, Baroque literature. As for group number three, you are going to work on the play's plot summary and characters. I don't need you to, um, to explain or to provide detailed information about the character, just an, an overview, because we still did not start with the play's content. Um, and this is the plot summary that can help you out. Uh, number, group number four, you are going to work on themes and symbols. Um, you need to discuss them. Um, so you have. I provided you with the symbols and themes that you need to explain. Make sure that you explain them thoroughly. Um, and the second block uh, includes aiding ideas for the project and questions too, right? Uh, these questions will lead you throughout the project. Now, on the second day of this week, you are going to continue preparing for this semi-project. Um, I do expect you to work on building the PPT on this, um, in this class. Make sure that you work after school too, if you think that you can't, uh, I would say, complete everything that is needed in the class. Um, you also, you have aiding tutorials to aid your understanding and your construction of the PPT and your understanding too. Um, I provided you here with another tutorial and another aiding ideas for the project. Yeah. So make sure that you go you go over them to aid your understanding and your application of the information. Now on the third day of this week, group number one, group number two will actually present, right? Um, so group number one will present the author's biography and extra credit and the second group will provide information about the historical context and key facts. Um, on the fourth day of this week, group number three and group number four uh, will present. Group number three will discuss the plot summary and characters. Group number four will discuss themes and symbols in the play or in reference to the play. Now, the last day of this week, we are going to actually start with the content, right? 
So up to this point, I'm expecting that you read Act 1 of the play, right? So we are going to work on the, the first four scenes of Act 1. We will, we will be exploring the key elements and their significance, um, how characters can be dynamic, themes and foreshadowing to deepen your understanding of the play's plot and underlining specific themes. Um, so I did actually, wait, let me go down. So you have tutorials that will aid your understanding and you will be working on this interactive activity which highlights building and analysis. Um, so to analyze act one scene one to four from the play effectively, you need to follow these chronological instructions and tactics in groups or in pairs. And once you're done, you send your work on a Word document via email. So I just highlighted essential um, questions that you need, or comprehension questions, that you need to work on for each scene. Um, while, we are, while you're working on these questions, you need to use, of course, the play as, a, as your primary reference. You need to highlight essential words that help you find the answer or I would say um, key hints, yeah? So make sure that you use the play. And of course you can research, that's for sure. But make sure that you have the play as a primary resource. Um, so each scene has specific questions that you need to fulfill. Once you're done, you're gonna send me via email and we're gonna discuss them together, yeah? Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, sorry. In the interactive activity number two, you have aiding ideas for the project, I mean the analysis, it will help you, right? So use this as also as a second reference, aside from the primary reference or a resource and the research policy. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.